Hi everyone, in this short video we see how to create a class in C++ and in particular we create a class for dates and uh, as an example we implement a, a function which is the Zeller's algorithm which uh, given its input uh, free integer which stands for the day, month and year it returns uh, uh, the weekday of that specific date in the past or in the future is the same so first of all we have to create a class so right click on our project add class we call it for instance date and we see that visual studio creates by default in a header file and uh, the cpp file the header is date.h we start working on the header file first of all we have to include the iostream library which is fundamental in our case okay now inside the class we initialize three variables as private which are the day we initialize as zero, the month, and the year. Now we pass the, to the public part in which we put all our functions. First of all, we need to build the constructor. Uh, the constructor must have the very same name of the class. And uh, for example, we, we put as input the integer, free integer, the date, month and here d m and y and we simply assign our input to the private variables so the id month m and the year y uh, i forgot the, the bracket okay now since our variables are private we need the getters so they will return for example the day since the variable day is an integer it uh, will return an integer of course and it simply return day it, they are very simple in this case get month return return month and finally int year uh, sorry get year return year return that spelling okay now the setter so if you want to assign to our variables a specific uh, value we have this setter our void functions they do not return any value but instead we receive an input in this case an integer and we simply say variable d variable day equal to our input d and the same for the month int m month equal m and finally void set here int y here equal y very simple now we have finished the, we're done with the boring part so we can implement some useful functions okay for example as I said before we have the Zeller's algorithm the, the purpose of this video is not to to see how the algorithm works, but it's simple to implement it. We, you can see, you can find it on thousands of web pages. In particular, our function is returns a string, which is the weekday, Monday, Tuesday, and so on, and we call it weekday with no input since we don't need any input, but it's specific of our class. Okay, now we pass the CPP file and we implement it, our function remember always to include the header file but on Visual Studio is done by default okay so std string we have to specify in this case which class our function is okay okay now first of all we initialize the string to return we, have, we call it weekday with no capital letters now for the variables we, the input is a date I mean it's uh, class specific so we have the date and for to get the day month and year we have to use the getter since our variables are private but no problem because we have implemented our getters so uh, day get day month get month and finally year equal get year okay now we have our three variables now we start implementing the actual algorithm. 
basically at the beginning we have to check if the month is January or February we can do it by doing this check month minus 3 which means uh, the month is 1 or 2 basically if this is the case we have to add 12 to the month and decrease the year by 1 so year minus minus now we save the first two digits and the last two digits of the year okay um, we, we say int y equal year module 100 so in this case we have the, the last two digits why for the first two digits it's quite easy because if we do over the year over 100 this this part should be a floating but since uh, we declare c as an integer we can float we can cut the float part and we save only the integer part which is basically the first two digits of the year which is what interests us okay now we write the formula to obtain the weekday which is quite tricky but as i said before you can find it on thousands of websites so day plus floor of 13 times month plus 1 month plus 1 over 5 over, over 5 then plus y plus floor of y over 4 plus floor of c over 4 and finally plus 5 times sorry plus 5 times c okay and this is the formula now we obtain an integer but since the weekdays are 7 we we do module 7 okay now we have this number the algorithm says that if in this case w is equal to 0 the day is a sunday and so on but since we do not want to check it again uh, by hand we can always do the same uh, thing we can implement a new function which we call then from int to day which receives as input an integer in our case w but we call it n to be to stay generic okay and we declare this as usual on the header file we get back to the cpp file and we write that function we call it from int today you always use the suggestion because in in this way we do not we we cannot do any typos um, okay now as before we initialize the string to return we call it weekday with no capital letters okay how do we perform the check we can do this and for the beginners is really okay maybe not the most elegant way but it it works and so if n equals zero it's saturday as i said before is if n is equal one we proceed uh, this way so if n equal one with day will be sunday now we do some copy and paste to to do it a bit faster okay so sunday and then two three four five and six sunday monday tuesday Wednesday, Thursday, and finally Friday. It may be better to use the switch case method, but this is not the purpose of this video, so we we'll see them maybe on another video. But believe me that it's it's really okay to do this. So now we we are our date and we use our class function so date no sorry we have uh, uh, we have to pass from w which is an integer to to the string so we have to do from in today and as input our integer w and we're done we just need to print the result uh, okay so 
so it will return this also not to print that okay so now the only thing left is to test our function so to do this we create a fictitious main and first of all we initialize our variables which are d m and y then we receive in input these functions so first of all we see out for example the a and we read in output in uh, in input sorry d then we do copy and paste this and we have to do the same for month m and for the year y Okay, now we use the constructor with the three integers to create a variable of type date. So we create date of d, m, and y. And now with this variable, since it is of type date, we can call our own function. But before we have to initialize our string with day as usual with no capital letters. So now we can do weekday equal to our variable date dot and we see there is this function weekday with capital letters and we're done. Now we just have to, to print our result but before we get new lines just to have a, a better output. Okay, one is okay. So std dot out for example we can write it is a and then our variable dot and then we say backslash m to to get new lines and then since it is a main we have to return zero okay now we test our function we run it hope hoping that there are no mistakes Otherwise, we correct them. Okay, it seems it seems so good. Okay, uh, from the bottom right of uh, of the screen, you can see that today is the second of October, 2022, and I say that this today is a Friday. Sorry, is a, is a Sunday. So if I say of October 2022 it should say it is a Sunday and let's see and it is correct so um, we can see the, the function works we've seen how to create a class and in particular now we can create a class for everything we use dates just for an example and thanks for watching and see you in the next video